Welcome back. You're watching News Centre. The winter session of Parliament kicked off today. The government, on its part, plans to table as many as 16 new bills during the session. The opposition is firming up a strategy to corner the government on issues such as inflation, employment, the EWS quota, the border dispute with China, among others. The demand for women's reservation bill will be back in focus. The Biju Janta Dal has pushed for the passage of the women's reservation bill in the winter session. Let me go across to Amar Patnaik, Rajya Sabha MP from the Biju Janta Dal. Uh, Mr. Patnaik is also a member of the Parliamentary Standing Committee on Finance. Uh, Mr. Patnaik, thank you very much for joining us. There have been at least 20, 21 issues which have been lined up uh, by the opposition, including in unemployment, including inflation. From the side of the state government, what is the issue that you would like to raise on the floor of the House? See, I think uh, there are a number of issues which are state-specific. Uh, of course, the most important uh, one is the one which you mentioned, that is passage of the Women Reservation Bill. Uh, this is what our uh, Chief Minister, Honorable Nabin Patnaik, has been uh, you know, harping on since uh, last so many years, since the last elections. He has been sending emissaries to different political parties. Uh, uh, in fact, I have moved it private member resolution uh, as and when it comes up for discussion on the same issue of women reservation. Uh, the second important aspect is the issue of uh, farmers' distress, uh, whether it is the question of not getting their personal bima, the claims on time, uh, whether it is a question of procurement of their uh, produce uh, on time, getting their payment on time. Uh, I think these are issues where the central government has a major role to play, and this is where the, the, the farmers are very unhappy. This has come up, and Honorable Chief Minister has again taken it up with the central government several times on this. So this is another one which we have raised earlier in almost every session of the parliament. This would be uh, done this time as well. The third important thing uh, which would be taken up uh, is the issue of uh, uh, you know special uh, dispensation to be uh, given to the state of Orissa because of the uh, nature of uh, the justice that it faces, uh, faces from time to time, almost at regular intervals. Um, we have been saying that we have uh, about 10 of the aspirational districts, uh, and we also face uh, disasters from time to time. Uh, our CM has been asking for uh, something, a disaster resilient uh, infrastructure, uh, for example, underground cabling of the power infrastructure, uh, uh, coastal sea wave uh, just to avoid that, uh, to have embankments. In fact, our uh, CM has been saying that if you do that, uh, that would be a long-term solution to uh, some of the disaster resilient uh, aspects of the country, which is our goal uh, as it is on, uh, on the climate front. Uh, so I think these are the really broad areas. Of course, there are minor issues, uh, uh, not minor really, but they are very important issues of the uh, nine tribal okay. uh, communities which have, which have to be notified. It's rather unfortunate yeah. that uh, in the listing of business, we have Mr. Mr. Uh, communities to be notified from Uttar Pradesh, from Chhattisgarh, uh, but Odisha is not there. Now, that's rather unfortunate. Mm. Okay, Mr. Patnaik, I'd like to ask you about the recent uh, meeting of the Parliamentary Committee on Finance on the roadmap to a $5 trillion economy. We believe that because of the pandemic, because of uh, the war, the timeline is likely to push by two years to 2027. Uh, what is your sense on what does the government need to do so that we are on the path of sustained growth and uh, greater GDP growth as well? What should the budget really focus on? See, I think budget time is still... Uh, we have time. The consultations are going on by the finance minister with various stakeholders. Uh, but I think the global economy, uh, I think there's, a, there's an agreement on that, that it's, the outlook is pretty bad. Uh, maybe it'll get into a recession in several parts of the world, particularly the uh, large uh, developed uh, economies. So that's uh, directly going to impact our uh, exports. Uh, the, but what's the good, the, the silver lining is the fact that our domestic demand uh, has picked up. It has recovered of, of post pandemic. Uh, I think uh, there is a lot of economic activity. You would realize that today the World Bank has in fact revised upward. Uh, the gro GDP growth rate for 2022-23 to 6.9 percent from the earlier 6.5 percent. Uh, so I I think uh, you know India would still remain the bright spot in the uh, horizon uh, as far as uh, economies the big economies are concerned. But yes, uh, our our target of uh, 
the even $5 trillion economy and even the $10 trillion economy gets pushed to that extent. Uh, but I think at this point of time... Right. Um, on the competition law, sir... Sorry? Yeah, on the competition on the competition law, Mr. Patnaik, this is an issue that uh, the uh, parliamentary committee has been looking at very closely, hearing all stakeholders. Uh, we believe that a final meeting is going to take place tomorrow. What is the uh, the committee's view as far as uh, the measures recommended in the competition law amendment bill are concerned? And do you think certain tweaks are needed? But as you would see that we, uh, the, the government of India is coming out with these amendments after after about 14 years. So uh, it's a big step, it's a giant step. Uh, as you would see in the bill that uh, new concepts of deal value, uh, commitment and settlement, many of these things are very advanced concepts which is available in advanced economies. Uh, it would also foster is of doing business. Uh, but I personally feel, obviously I can't share uh, what is the common view of the uh, committee, because that's what is going to be uh, discussed tomorrow. But my personal view is that uh, in some of those, uh, you know, new amendments that are being brought in, what would be important is how the rules are going to be framed, because operational efficiency has to be there as far as the CCI is concerned, as far as the uh, government is concerned, as far as the DG investigation is concerned, because unless optional efficiency, these, uh, you know, the, the, the big uh, provisions would not give the desired results. People may not be interested in coming for settlement if they think that they, their sharing of information has no value because everything would get rejected and ultimately they have to go to the full commission uh, for, for, for adjudication. So okay. the rules would be very important. That's All my right. personal views and that's what my suggestion would be to the government. Okay. All right, sir. We've run out of time, but thank you very much for summing up the Biju Janata Dal's priorities for this session and also some of the economic priorities that the government must have in order to reach the $5 trillion goal. With that, it's a wrap on this edition of News Centre. Don't go anywhere. News continues on the other side.